Welcome to Religion Link TV, where my spiritual here stay. Hey YouTube, what's up? We are going into my credit union, and I'm going to, um, you know, deposit some money. It's weird, guys. I'm out. You see me walking. I don't never know how to change this over. Hello. All right. Hello. such a peculiar girl, right? Guys, I got footage walking into the um, freaking credit union, right? So when I got in there, the weirdest shit happened, you know? They said my, my personal account was negative $13. I'm like, well, what happened? Like, I'm pretty careful with my card. I don't really shop online. They said somebody purchased something, Amazon, $14. So I'm trying to figure out what is what. I was able to put the money in, guys, for the um, light bill. And I had a few dollars left over. Um, we raised all together $72. We got $10 on PayPal. Thank you to the PayPal donor. You know who you are. And we got $62 to the cash app. Guys, I have, I'm going to make the call for you when I get home. I'm in transition now. But it is so crazy how when you put your best foot forward and when you're very careful, there, you know, things happen. So I'm going to go home, talk to my daughter, make sure she did not use my card, you know, without me knowing, try to figure it out. But if not, I'm going to have to file, you know, a report with my credit union so they can investigate it at least. But yeah, like, um, that's weird. Maybe we overlooking something. Um, it says Amazon Prime. I'm like, I don't have an Amazon Prime account. I have books on Amazon, but they don't charge me to have uh, merch on Amazon, right? And again, guys, if you want to help support this channel, go over to Amazon.com. All my books have mistakes in them, okay? Because I'm a self-publisher and editor. I did the best I can. But if you like my morning reads and my teachings, then you'll probably love to read the books that I wrote. But you got to remember, prior to the book I'm working on now, it's called The Covenant, Yahweh, The Covenant, and Me, right? Basically... I wrote like a white Christian. I wrote like the world teaches Christianity. I was a diehard, ride or die Christian, believing Christianity. And I was writing books to help educate people that way as well. So when you hear me talk now, five years since removed from Christianity, the concept is the same, but the players are definitely different. The color is different. So, with that being said, guys, I was a little discouraged, and I didn't want to show that on camera. Like, who the hell is in my account? What the hell is going on? But, we're, I'm going to walk you through that. I'll show you the paperwork and the printout. They highlighted some things on my account, and I just got to go investigate now, because I'm not careless like that. I definitely, you know, 
don't be trying to be in the negative whether I'm working or not you understand what I'm saying so that has nothing to do with it so I'm gonna check Amazon Prime but again if you want to go over there and support me you definitely can um let's see I was out and about today because I had a job interview so let's just put that on the altar claim it and believe that I receive it and even if I don't you all maybe that job is not for me I'm out here busting my ass y'all but even making these videos like I had to tell this one arrogant um you know commenter oh I I I might as well start me a YouTube channel. I'm going to read that and add it into the live. I'm, I'm going to show this footage live here. But she basically was saying, oh, well, I need to start me a YouTube channel. I need somebody to support me. I look for three jobs. I'm not lazy. I'm not lazy either. And like I told her, hell, all the uploading and freaking talking I've been doing on YouTube, nonetheless, it's still a job. It's not your traditional job, but it's still a freaking job, y'all. I don't understand that at all. Like, what the hell? I told her, I said, you know what? I said, ma'am, unlike you, I'm not going to sit here and bash you. I wish you well. I hope and pray you find a job. Uh, I'll keep you in my prayers. Um, you know, maybe if you did start a YouTube channel, you, you'll find people that support you. You may not be lazy, but you're very ungrateful. You, you're being disrespectful, and, and I would never do you the way you're trying to do me right now. So, it's like, you know, people, come on. I would still encourage you to start your own channel. I would still pray to help you get a job. That's neither here nor there with me. But the rudeness of people. And like I told her, your struggle was none of my business, first of all. But since you brought it up, let me help you with it, okay? We all struggling. Obviously, I'm not sitting around on my ass doing nothing if you clicking and watching on my videos and commenting on my videos. I mean, really, people. But anyway, I just, I got the money I'm about to pull into where I live. Let me take my butt across the street. I got the money in the account. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the phone call, pay that bill. Um, let's see. I'll do that on live, you know, keeping things, some things private. But it's kind of weird because like the bank lady said, most people who try to drain out your account or got access to your account will take it off. There was even a PayPal transfer and I've only received one, two, three, I believe three PayPal donations and I never sent anything PayPal. So I'm going to go in here and have a talk with my daughter because sometimes I'd be like, here, use the card or whatever. And we're going to work it out. And like I said, it was back in February. So if they had my card number, they would probably have tried to take all this stuff as well, right? So guys, this is Religion Link TV and my spiritual ears stay. Wait, let me see if we can get it to jingle. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> God bless you all. Don't get discouraged, guys. I mean, I, I'm a living testimony that God shall make a way. This too shall come to pass. I mean, when you put your best foot forward, this seems like there's always going to be persecution or opposition or resistance or something trying to hinder you. But remember, we learn ecclesiastic and the real meaning of that word is to try to have happiness apart from God. Go back and read. Um, there's a time. There's a time for everything. That video, right? And it explained to you that ecclesiastics was just vanity about vanity. So I'm not doing anything vain over here, guys. Um, let me see. Again, we went over the seven dollar asking donation and got up to 72 dollars you know paypal and um cash app take their percentage it was like um 71 dollars and some change when i went to make the deposit of the rest of the money we have 250 dollars in the account guys and i kept a little bit here you know for a cushion um, it may even help to put minutes on my phone. We only needed 234, 
Um, we started off with $227 and got up to the $72, and we only needed $260, $234 out of the $227 plus the $72, which is like $299 minus the $34, so that was what was left over. So, guys, again, I am so grateful. We are back at the kingdom now, you know what I'm saying? We are back home. I know y'all see that little jingle, jingle, jingle. I'm going to try to cover it up there. But we did it, guys. We did it. We we went. We had the job interview. We got back. We went to Seth Q. I have a part of that walking into Seth Q that I'll try to put together in a video. But, guys, that was really discouraging. And I'll show you where they highlighted the, the three transactions that I myself personally don't remember since February. But it wasn't even the two. It was the one that came in today for $14 from Amazon Prime. And I know I don't have an Amazon Prime account. I know that I have merch on Amazon.com, but they have never since 2004 charge me anything for my books being up there guys so with that being said it's your girl really doing tv my spiritual ears stay ringing i'm gonna go on yeah i got me a three-quarter pea coat on it's so nice y'all i'm gonna go in get myself settled down i do have the footage if i don't upload it today i'll definitely do it tomorrow i have to go in and make sure that you guys premiered the morning read um, and what else, guys? Let me see. I don't know. Man, my ass is, I'm just tired of the enemy trying to steal from me. And it may not even be that. It may be my daughter's overlooking something or another. But guys, protect your identity. Protect your money. People are out here trying to steal, kill, and destroy you. And my advice to you is just to be sober and vigilant in this day. And pay, pay attention. Be mindful. Again, thank guys so i'm just gonna try and see if i can show you the name of the company the bill i had to pay it goes to this company right here 234 dollars was paid today i made a phone call in the end of this video where you can hear the amount of 234 being paid by check over the phone i deposited the money into the account all right, so everybody, I explained to you, I started off with $227 this morning. I needed seven, raised 72 by putting a petition out to my supporters and they came through with 72 extra dollars. Well, I only needed seven, so out of the 72, they came up with the extra, you know, overflow. Totaling $299, I needed a total of three, 234 for the for the light bill right so here is what I'm going to show you when I went to Sav Q I put I took the money out of my account because we all know Cash App and PayPal is attached to your your bank account so I took the $71 that was available and I'm gonna show you here hopefully not showing you too much I blanked out my bank account 
you can see that it says hopefully it says let me see if I can get it up so you see the 13 hold on I'm gonna do this see if you can get it right hold on 1398 there they said my account was thirteen dollars and ninety eight cent withdrawal right I put the two hundred and fifty dollars that's this next number here two hundred and fifty in and then it left me with a balance of two thirty five sixty two I made the phone call to pay the bill and took out the two thirty four okay so I'm gonna show you that this was done on today's day at the credit union where I go so hopefully you can see on the bottom here it says March 28 2019 um, let me move my finger some try to get this where you can see it a little bit clearer that's March 28 2019 and the time is approximately I did it 1616. If you know anything about military time, 1600 is 4 p.m. So you know you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Then you would go 1300 for 1, 1400 for 2, 1500 for 3, 1600 for 4, 1700 for 5, 1800 for 6 p.m. 1900 for 7 p.m., 2000 for 8 p.m., 2100 for 9 p.m., 2200 for 10 p.m., 2300 for 11 p.m., 2400. Okay, and then you start all over again. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the rest of this video. Thank you. Hey guys, Religion Link TV here, guys. I am about to make the phone call now to the light company. Um, we have the money already deposited into the bank account, so I am going to go ahead and call. I'm going to mute some parts of it out. Alright, so... I appreciate everything you guys did. I told you we got seven dollar donation request out there this morning. We raised seventy two dollars, you all. One person gave seven dollars via Cash App. One person gave twenty five. Another twenty five. A person gave. Someone gave five. And then on PayPal, someone gave ten. That's a total of seventy two dollars. I was able to retrieve the $71 and some change because they take their percentage. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and mute it here. And then... Hold on, it's still asking me, like... Alright, so I'm going to pause it here because it's asking for my information. Hold on. Pay by phone. Pay by phone. Pay by phone. Yes. Check phone.
I can't tell whether you said yes or no. Yes. Yes. Repeat. Sure. Your payment in the amount of $234 has been successfully processed. The confirmation number is 001. guys i hope you could have heard that it said i made a payment of 234 dollars that was to um the light company out here in new york state where i live i had a bill of 234 dollars and i was seven dollars short i put an, um, a petition out a plea out before my supporters they came up with 72 dollars I had an abundance of overflow. I was able to pay the bill. And that's just the cushion. I may put minutes on my phone. I, you know, may go out to have a little treat to eat or put it to the next bill. That would be the wisest thing for me to do. So with that being said, thank you so much. God bless you. And I hope you were able to hear the amount that was paid. And there's footage to show you that I walked into my credit union and discovered a problem so you guys i gave you great advice in this video i hope you all enjoy it thank you, thank you for watching religion on tv and my spiritual ears stay shalom